Hi everyone! Good morning! How are you? So today we're going to talk about another topic wherein we will refresh our memory on what our environment is all about. Let's start! Can you tell me what you see in the picture? Do you see the sun that shines so brightly? Do you know what those clouds means? And do you know why there are numbers that are placed on a long bar? So today's topic, we're going to talk about the world's and Philippines weather. To start off, let's dig into some questions that we should answer about this topic. Do you know what causes weather change? Do you think it is important to have accurate weather forecasting and how do climatic conditions affect human activities? Seeing these pictures below, do you have any idea on what the weather is and what are their differences? When you wake up in the morning and see the sun shining brightly, you can guess that it is going to be a sunny day. However, in the middle of the day, winds may blow and the temperature may rise. By late afternoon or evening of the same day, dark clouds may form in the sky. The air may become humid and a thunderstorm may suddenly occur. When these happen, heavy rains may fall. So whether it is the day-to-day -day condition or state of the atmosphere, have you ever read the weather forecast in a newspaper? Have you ever listened to one during a news broadcast on radio or seen one in a television program? What does the forecast tell? In the previous slide, we have seen a weather forecast report being reported in a television. But do you know that you can also report a weather forecast on a newspaper or in daily writings? For example, Manila, Philippines. Generally, fair weather will be experienced for most part of the Philippines in the next 24 hours. A snow low pressure area, LPA, has been observed within the Philippines. Philippine Area of Responsibility, PAR. In its 24-hour public weather forecast Monday, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, said the low chance of rain is due to the hot air brought by winds coming from the Pacific Ocean or Easterlies. As of now, no low pressure area nor storms within the country's area of responsibility can be observed and will continue to do so in the next three to five days. Isolated rain showers, especially during the evening, will still be affecting some areas due to localized thunderstorms. Likewise, temperatures in Metro Manila will range from 25 to 34 degrees Celsius, while 17 to 25 degrees Celsius will be experienced in Baguio City. In Cebu City, temperatures may play between 25 to 31 degrees Celsius and 24 to 33 degrees Celsius in Davao City, reported by Jim Mendoza. Today, let's have a review on what are the kinds of weather. We have fine, fair, cloudy, rainy, and stormy. Did you experience all these kinds of weather? Let's find out. On the picture below, it shows what a fine weather is. The sun shines brightly. There are no clouds in the sky. The air is warm. And if there are clouds, they are very fine ones and are very high up in the sky. The weather is fair when there are big clouds in the sky, which are far from each other. These clouds do not bring rain. During fair weather, it may be warm indoors but gloomy outdoors. The weather is cloudy when thick clouds cover the sky. It looks gloomy outdoors and the air is very warm and humid. It feels like rain will fall, but it does not. 
If it does, the rains do not last the whole day. There are no rains during the greater part of the day. How do you know if the weather is rainy? The weather is rainy when the sky is overcast with clouds. It rains for the greater part of the day. The air is wet and the ground is muddy. There are also be flooding on the streets, especially in the cities. However, despite the rains and flood, there are no strong winds and there is no storm signal. Hmm, the picture looks scary. Stormy weather. It is when there is heavy rainfall and heavy flooding and the storm signal is up. Knowing all five kinds of weather, how will you describe the weather today? Daily weather forecasts in the Philippines are made by the agency called PAGASA. What is PAGASA? In this picture, you can see a man making a report on a weather update last May 14, 2020. He is a weather forecaster in Pagasa. One of your tasks is to memorize the very long meaning of Pagasa. Pagasa is Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. Can you try it? Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. Good job and good luck. The PAGASA is an agency where trained meteorologists use instruments such as the barometer, anemometer, and wind vane to collect and interpret data about the weather. Meteorologists try to look ahead and inform us of the weather conditions to expect over the new days. Nowadays, with rapid developments in technology, weather agencies use information from satellites to give us adequate warnings on imminent dangerous weather conditions such as typhoons or hurricanes. Even though we have a reliable pag-asa, it is still not easy to predict weather accurately as there are so many complex factors to consider. For one, weather patterns can change suddenly. In some countries, the weather changes so quickly and without a warning, such as when a tornado strikes, as a result, many houses are destroyed and many people are killed. The weather has great influence on the daily lives of people, especially on their occupations. That is why farmers and fisher folk have learned to read signs in the environment. These signs help them predict future weather patterns. This fault knowledge has been proven to be very helpful in their economic activities. That ends our topic for today. I hope you learned something and I will see you on the next session. On the picture on your screen, you could have an idea on what our topic will be as we continue to discuss the world's and the Philippines' climate. See you!